Well, I'm now back in Maine, just for an hour or so. And then we'll be going crossing the border in Calais and going to St. Stephen's. Oh wow, it's such, it's turned out to be a beautiful sunshiny day. Still a little cool, but it's good. It's good. Lots of broken glass. Don't see any houses around here. A little wet. Just across the border at Calais or Callis or whatever you pronounce it. I always said Calais, somebody else said it's something different. So anyway, I'm in St. Stephen's. I'm gonna make my way slowly along the shore. A little disappointed. Every street I tried to get anywhere near the historical site I wanted to see um, was closed and there was somebody standing there to make sure you didn't go down them so uh, it did not work out so now I'm looking for something a little different to do I just stopped here and had a little bit of lunch yep this is where I had my lunch It's funny, I did not see one thing of wildlife when I was away. I, I saw a couple of ducks and I saw um, one chipmunk. That's it. In the whole time I was in the United States. Oh, and some birds. And then I get to New Brunswick here less than two hours and I've already seen six deer. I love it. I just love it. It's a little chilly by the water, but ah, so nice just to walk along the beach where nobody else is. It's so peaceful here, listening to the water, reading my book. I had a walk with a local, and we just walked along the beach with her dog. And she said, yeah, there's no issues if we want to stay here for the night. So I might stay here for the night um, and head on to towards Fundy National Park tomorrow. Stopping a few places on the way. And uh, it's just so nice here. It's so calm. And sometimes I just want that. I just want the time to relax and the time to read and the time to just listen and sit. And I have a coffee.
Now the tide is going down. You can see all these extra little islands that you couldn't even see before. And half of that wasn't even there. Wow. I'm going to see if I can get over there. As the tide goes out, more and more of these land masses appear. Before there was water in between there, and you wouldn't be able to get across. Another new day. I think it only got down to about 3 degrees last night. So not as cold as some nights, but beautiful sunrise this morning. Beautiful. Sometimes wonder if the voice on my map app gets frustrated with me. Because I'm always taking different roads and they're telling me different ways to get back on route. to do my own thing. I'll get there eventually. So it's an extra 25 kilometers. Who cares? I think wherever I cross, I'm going to get wet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I gave up and walked right through the water. My hiking boots will dry. Spring runoff. boots, my socks, and the bottom of my pants are wet. The one thing I learned on my wilderness courses is the quickest way to dry them is to keep wearing them. So that's what I'm going to do. And on to the next place. Goodbye St. Martin's.
we are going. Very rocky. But hopefully we'll see some nice waterfalls at the end. I'm hiking to some waterfalls. I'm in Fundy National Park. And I think I saw signs where I slept before that you can no longer go down that road. Anyway, I'll find out a little later. What a maze and mud, all the good stuff. This is a fun trail. It's not hard at all, just fun. Ooh, down we go. water crossing. Hmm. Okay, I hope these rocks don't move. Mm -hmm. ah, not bad at all. <laughs> Whoops. Mm -hmm. yeah, there we go. Oops, march the roots. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 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 Oh, easy peasy. Hmm. More water crossings. Okay, which way are you supposed to go? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I guess this way. I hear water now. This is quite a messy climb. Lots of roots.
and rocks. Back up to the top. Now we start going down again. Oops. Oh, don't want to get my foot stuck. Ooh. There we go. We need to head back. I am pooped. There was a lot of going down on the way to the falls, a little bit up, but this we have been steadily climbing for probably about 10 minutes. I had to sit for a minute. Well, I had a nice cold shower. I washed and I washed my hair and rinsed my hair, contemplating whether to use conditioner. When the water started getting a little warm, it had already been running for 15 minutes. So I stayed in and conditioned my hair. And then I stayed in to get warm. So, but now I'm trying to find a place to sleep for the night. vehicle. I might be staying there for the night. I know everybody can see me, but once I put the things in the windows, nobody can see me. The place where I wanted to stay is all closed up now. I stayed there last year, and now no one's allowed to stay there. and water today and yesterday and the day before. 